Hello and welcome to our market outlook analysis. Today we're summarizing the diverse and often conflicting opinions of financial experts about where the market is headed. Buckle up because we're in for a roller coaster ride of bull runs, bear markets, and everything in between. First, the overvaluation debate. Let's start with the elephant in the room. Is the market overvalued? Many analysts, including some heavy hitters from Wharton, seem to think so. They're pointing to the S&P 500's forward price to earnings ratio, which is sitting at a lofty 20, up from 17 just a year ago. This has some experts hitting the caution button. But here's where it gets interesting. Not everyone's reading the tea leaves the same way. Next, the bulls are running. Some market watchers are seeing green shoots everywhere they look. Take the S&P 500's performance in 2024. It's been on a tear. Then there's the M2 money supply, which has taken a positive turn. For those not in the finance loop, that's a fancy way of saying there might be more cash sloshing around the system soon. And let's not forget about Bitcoin. Some folks like Nathan HQ are treating it like a crystal ball for the broader market. And right now, that ball's glowing bright green. Watch out, the bears are growling, but hold your horses because for every bull, there's a bear ready to swipe. Harry Dent is out there saying, we might have already hit the top of our lifetime back in July, 2024. He's not just predicting a dip, he's talking about a full on market crash. Then we've got the yield curve doing its dance. It's been inverted longer than a yoga instructor. And historically that's been about as welcome as a fire alarm at a sleepover. George Gammon is another voice in the bearish choir. He's not just predicting a recession, He's talking about a hard landing that could make the downturns of the early 90s and 80s look like a walk in the park. Next, the cycle of market life. Now let's zoom out for a second. Alessio Rastani's been dusting off an old playbook called the Benner Cycle. It's suggesting we might be in for a nice ride until 2026. But after that, well, let's just say it might be time to batten down the hatches. Howard Marks, the sage of Oak Tree Capital, reminds us that markets are more like a moody teenager than a well-oiled machine. It's all about emotions and behavior, folks. Cycles are inevitable, but they're driven by us humans, not some cosmic calculator. Reading the economic tea leaves now, let's talk Turkey, or rather, trade deficits. Peter Schiff is looking at the $102.7 billion hole in our trade bucket and seeing a red flag for our manufacturing sector. Consumer behavior is another Rorschach test for economists. Some see rising credit card debt and shrinking savings as a sign people are feeling flush. Others, like our friend Ship, see it more as a drowning man gasping for air. And the banks? George Gammon's raising eyebrows at their lending practices. When the banks get stingy with loans, it's like animals heading for high ground before a flood. They might know something we don't. The Fed's game of chess. Let's not forget about the Fed, the ultimate market puppet master. Fred Krueger's crystal ball shows interest rates dropping below 3% by December 2025. If he's right, we might see everyone and their dog piling into risky assets faster than you can say bull market. But here's the million dollar question. Can the Fed actually save us if things go south? Harry Dent and George Gammon aren't buying it. They think the Fed's toolbox might be running on empty this time around. So. Where do we go from here? With all these conflicting views, what's an investor to do? Well, Mark Tilbury's preaching the gospel of diversification and playing the long game. He's all about buying the dip when markets take a tumble. Peter Schiff is eyeing gold stocks like a kid in a candy store, while Bitcoin is getting nods from Fred Krueger and George Gammon as a potential safe haven. And then there's Harry Dent, waving a big exit sign over the markets. So there you have it, folks, a market outlook that's about as clear as mud, but twice as interesting. The takeaway, the market's future is about as predictable as a game of rock, paper, scissors with a hundred players. Whether you're team bull, team bear, or somewhere in between, one thing's for sure, we're in for an interesting ride. Stay informed, stay diversified, and most importantly, stay tuned. The only certainty in this market is that it'll keep us all on our toes. Please like and subscribe and keep your eyes on the charts and your hands inside the ride at all times.